All right, we got another package from Ukraine today. Just got here in the post. It uh, looks a little worse for wear, but I think under the circumstances, we can understand why. So I know what this is, but it's gonna be a surprise for you. Let's just pop this thing open. So thank you to the eBay seller. Looks like this is a very thorough packing job under what I can only imagine are adverse conditions, let's say. Somebody in the comments from that neck of the woods could let me know whether or not this is actually Eastern European toilet paper. <laughs> Would be fantastic, because that's certainly what it looks like. Is Probably toilet tissue made out of recycled paper. But, here is the show. Some of you recognize this already. Smena. Model 8. <laughs> ah, fantastic. Really excited to try this out. It, it appears to be in absolutely fantastic condition. I'm just going to clear this table off and we'll take a better look at it. All right. So, I've wanted one of these for a while now. And uh, part of the reason I pulled the trigger on this one was to help somebody out in a part of the world that could use some help. It was in what looked to be fantastic shape. I don't often see these with the case. But, the camera appears to be... In really good shape. The lens typical of Soviet cameras is going to be absolutely fantastic. That's what happens when you put the money where the money needs to go. But this is actually the main reason that I chose this camera was that it included this little fella, which is a rangefinder. So this little camera is a viewfinder camera. There is no there's no linkage between the focusing element on the lens and the viewfinder. What well, you, you just look through the viewfinder. This thing, and I'm thinking it goes this way, will allow me to look through the viewfinder, adjust my focus just like I would with a uh, rangefinder mechanism on a rangefinder camera, and then match that on my lens. Which, a little bit slow, obviously, but uh, obviously you're going to get better results than uh, range focusing. Like the early Leicas worked a bit like this, where there was a, a viewfinder for framing and then a viewfinder for focus. And the really cool thing here is that I can use this little viewfinder on other cameras. So just hang on one second. So perhaps not surprisingly for people who know me, I have a few zone focus cameras. This one is in feet rather than meters, which is going to require some really awkward math on my part. But again, now I have the option of doing something other than zone focusing. I can actually use my rangefinder. Um, these cameras aren't super, super wide aperture. And uh, the lenses tend to be pretty sharp in the middle. Like they're, they're built to function as a zone focus camera. So, you know, you don't need this necessarily. But if you're shooting a portrait or something like that, I just really like the idea of being able to focus properly, for lack of a better explanation. So we've got a nice little big light mechanism here. There's our shutter release. Boom. Look at that. Take up spool. Um, let's... Okay, so there's our shutter speed. The inner ring should be our aperture. But, any road, that is the camera. So, look forward to reviewing this at some point in the future. Uh, this should be a fun little project. And like, as I say, the nice thing here is that I'm going to be able to use that little rangefinder attachment on a lot of my other cameras from this same era. So, very pleased with that. Nice little surprise to get in the mail today.